3B valve trombone. I believe it's from the 80s. Um, this is an excellent example of King's valve trombones. Um, a lot of people that are playing the King valve trombone for the first time might find it a little bit stuffy, but usually that can be fixed by pairing a good mouthpiece with the horn, or you know just having a good repair tech go over your horn and make sure that everything's working all right. I've never found them to be too any more or less stuffy than any other valve trombone. They work just fine. Um, tuning slide is located at the end of the horn. Make sure you use a very thick uh, tuning slide grease. The, the red stuff by Bach um, will is very good about being sticky because of course you know usually you're not playing the trombone straight up and down. You might be playing it down like this. So use that really thick slide grease on these because the tuning slide is at the end of the horn here. But, well, actually, no, that's not right. We have two tuning slides. <laughs> I forgot there's always the normal tuning slide here. So you can just, you know, do whatever you want with that. Um, excellent horn. I highly recommend this horn for anyone that's like a trombone or a trumpet player doubling on a trombone. Or uh, particularly if you're into like playing corridos, uh, Martenio music, you, know, you like banda, whatever. This is an excellent, excellent choice. Probably one of the most popular choices of trombones that I find amongst musicians that play a lot of like northern Mexican music, like Banda and Orteño and various other corridos and whatnot. If you're into like Peso Puma and whatnot, you're, you're going to dig this horn. Wonderful horn.